In this video, we will look at different compositions of gallium and indium and at what temperature they will melt. First, we start with solid indium. We put a small piece of uh, solid indium gallium and we just shake it uh, for some time, maybe around uh, one or two minutes. And then what we get is a liquid alloy. Why does this happen? So this is the phase diagram of gallium in the system. As you can see, gallium melts around 30 degrees Celsius, which is close to room temperature, whereas indium melts around 157 degrees Celsius. Uh, we have prepared four different compositions. A uh, is pure gallium, and it all melts at room temperature, but not quite. Um, mixture B, which is a composition that's close to the eutectic composition. It's a, it's a liquid-like material. But you can see when we shake it, when we shake the cuvette, you can see the uh, movement. And see similarly, it goes to the eutectic but at a higher temperature. So it's, uh, it moves uh, less. Whereas D is, as we saw before, solid indium, which melts at 150 degrees Celsius. Um, so it's, it's solid at around 30 degrees Celsius. Let's take another look at uh, composition B, which clearly is a liquid. Now let's dynamically create a eutectic alloy. So what we'll do is, so for this, uh, we start with almost uh, room temperature gallium, slightly higher, around 30 degrees Celsius. And we put a piece of indium in there and uh, we will see how they mix. So we put this piece of indium and we will gently mix it in the next uh, minute or so. So as you mix it, the soft piece of indium that actually melts at a much higher temperature slowly melts uh, because the we are going down the composition slope into close to the eutectic which melts at room temperature. So this is a very cool way to create a eutectic alloy at temperature. Um, and also uh, trying to understand the phase diagram of uh, uh, this system.